All right. I have an announcement that I need to make. The cat has been led out of the bag by several different people, and I think it's only right that you guys hear it directly from the horse's mouth what's going on. Right after I tell you about the amazing stuff over at Manscaped. If you guys have been rocking with me for a while, you know I've been a massive proponent of Manscaped for the last two years. They have a plethora of items on their store that you guys need to be using that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This right here is the Performance Package 4.0. Comes with the Lawnmower 4.0. Got a little light on it so you can see exactly what you're doing down there. Don't cut yourself. It's waterproof. It's cordless. It's got some anti-nicking technology. Been using it for over two years. Haven't even come close to nicking the ball sack. But if you're worried that you might nick the ball sack, it also has some guards so you can get extra protection down there it's just it's so simple so easy to use very efficient but it's also got the piece de la resistance the crop preserver you literally just drop a dap of it on your hands spread it around on your nuts smelling fresh the entire day and then it even has the crop reviver so if you're feeling a little self-conscious you think you might be smelling getting a little bit of a whiff of something you just drop it on there you're refreshed instantly but it also comes with the weed whacker so if you need to clear out some nose hair ear hair you got it right there and it even has some anti-chafing boxers that come along with it i will never wear another pair of boxers in my life they're great especially for bigger guys like me where my thighs rub together if i'm like running around or something these boxers prevent any kind of chafing from your thighs rubbing together They're super soft and they make you feel pretty large if you catch the drift and right now you can grab that or any of the other incredible products on their store for 20 percent off by using code crypt 20 and you get free worldwide shipping just click the link down below and go support your boy so i put out this post the other day and it's a picture of me my hands are wrapped i'm sweaty obviously i've been punching the shit out of something and uh, the caption says something is happening and uh, so many retweets so many comments quote tweets messages calls texts who are you fighting are you in the next youtube boxing event what the fuck is going on i even keemstar even reached out keemstar messaged me like who are you boxing and put it on drama alert like that's how crazy this got out of hand and so to answer your question am i boxing on the next one who am i fighting I have not even been contacted, reached out anything at all by anybody. That picture that I posted, it is, is a screenshot of a music video that I have coming out this Friday, and it's the lead single of my album that I have dropping April 15th. That That's the announcement. Like, I'm here to tell you guys that I am dropping this album April 15th with my good friend Joey Notto. It's called The Sky is Red. It's the sequel to When the Sky Turns Red, and we're trying to get 10,000 pre-saves for this album. And uh, I, I think you want to stick around to listen to the rest of this video to understand why. The most pre-saves I've ever gotten on any album is 2,100 for my last album, Buried Alive. And we're literally trying to five times multiply that. So if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you know the only person I have ever called out for this YouTube boxing stuff was Randolph. And uh, the reason I called him out many years ago is because we had beef. He said something that I didn't like on the internet. I had to respond and like, the, you know, it's, it was just a big, ugly fucking mess. But me and Randolph are cool now. I really fucking like Randolph. I think he's a great dude. He's funny. There's just so many great things that I could say about him. I wouldn't say we're buddy buddy, but he's, he was on a YouTube cipher. We've talked several times. He's a great fucking dude. If I was ever in London, I would immediately hit him up and be like, yo, let's fucking go eat some fish and chips or whatever the fuck you guys eat over here. Let's just hang out for a little bit. And it was just impeccable timing because I think either the day of or the day after that I dropped this picture for the promo for the song, Randolph made a video saying that he wanted to fight somebody in the next YouTube boxing event. And I wasn't even mentioned in the video as like a potential opponent for him, but just a ton of people in his comments would be like, yo, you gotta fight Crip. You're both fat, you're both rappers, you're the UK version of him, he's the American version of you. It just makes sense. Uh, and it's just it's, it's just impeccable timing. I do want to say shout out to Randolph because he said he wanted to do this because he wants to, you know, lead a, a healthier lifestyle, wants to get more in shape. And I 100% feel that because I am the exact same man. I'm the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life right now. I'm walking around at 275 pounds. I'm fucking heavy right now. And I've been working a lot behind the scenes setting up my Crip Sports YouTube page. Uh, we're about to start playing just a shit ton of wiffle ball and basketball and just all kinds of sports because I want to lead a healthier lifestyle as well. So I know a lot of people were wanting this to be the announcement that me and Randolph are fighting at the next event. And just to be blunt and honest with you guys, it has not even been part of the conversation at all. Uh, I haven't talked to Randolph in probably a year. It's It's been a while since I've even spoken to him. Just because, you know, we guys do their own thing. Like, people go their own ways. I've been working a lot behind the scenes on my music and stuff. I've taken breaks off of YouTube, but just haven't really been in the social eye all that much. I think the last time I mentioned this was like a year and a half ago, whenever KSI dropped uh, all over the place. I bought some of his limited edition boxing gloves, and he saw that. He's like, yo, you trying to fight? And I was like, put me in the ring with Randolph! 
and then he like put it on a story that crit versus randolph but like I, randolph wasn't about it like nobody really wanted to make that happen and that was like the last anything was ever even discussed about it i haven't fucking thrown a punch in a, a long ass time i was you know hitting the bag there for a little bit and i just haven't done that in forever but i do want to revert back to this overall fitness and like fixing myself and my lifestyle from being so heavy so i have decided that every day i'm going to run and the distance i run is based off of the amount of pre-saves that we have for this album dropping in three weeks so for every 1000 pre-saves we get i'm gonna run a mile so if you guys hit the 10,000 pre-saves i'm literally going to run 10 miles and for whatever reason you guys get 30,000 pre-saves i will run 30 miles every day i'm gonna wake up and the first number that i see is what i'm gonna run we just announced this yesterday and i think right now we're right at 300 pre-saves so i would run three tenths of a mile right now but if i wake up in the morning and there's 500 pre-saves i'm gonna run a half a mile if i wake up the next morning and there's a thousand pre-saves i'm already gonna run a mile and it's just gonna stack up every single day until the album drops i'm gonna be starting my running journey tomorrow and i'm gonna do it every single day that i wake up until the album drops and who knows maybe when we hit 10,000 pre-saves we can really have a sincere discussion about me and Randolph fighting. But there's the announcement, guys. New album, April 15th. Pre-save down there in the description as well as the pinned comments. There's some motivational songs on here, heartbreaking songs, me singing a lot, I'm rapping a lot. There's just every single style that you want is on this. There's even me rapping about sex. I don't do that. There's just so much craziness happening in this album. So please, pre-save it, and let's fix our fucking lifestyle, man. But that's the end of this one. I love you guys, and until next time, it has been your boy, Krypton. I'm signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm only halfway up on this mountain of life. But everything I've seen, it seems like a lifetime. I'm on fire right now, and it ain't going out. You can try all you want, but you can't blow it out. Now, tell me what I can